What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Blue Bug, back with another episode of Traveler's Rest. As always, happy to be back playing more Traveler's Rest. Love this game. Let's jump right in. Uh, where did we leave off? I believe, if I recall right, we have... Uh, a bedroom set outside for that last room we just opened up? Does that sound right? I don't know. It sounds right to me, but it's been a, a like a week, I think, maybe more before I've, uh, since I've last played. I forgot to look up what the fish trap was, but I had a better idea for this episode and it involved a little redecorating. Maybe expanding our, oh, that's awesome, it's raining. Oh, we got seats. Oh, maybe we already did the room then. Boop, 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 boop. Let's just plant all the seeds then. Easy enough. I guess we can check out what's harvestable while we're, when we're all done with this. Okay, I won't, I won't. We got a lot of stuff to harvest. Is it peers? Oh yeah, we do. Some hops, you know how it is. We get get a little hoppy. Some high, some uh, make a little IP, make a couple IPAs. So recently, as you guys might hear, every once in a while, I like to have a couple, have a couple, uh, a couple, a couple ciders. You know, I'm hanging out. I have a cider here or there or whatever. Completely out of cider as of the other day, and I've been trying to decide what brand I want to start drinking next. Normally, I go for like either uh. Down east, always good. Or I just try and uh, just try whatever random odd brand they have because I feel like I feel like anytime I get liquor now, I've been really mixing up the brands other than hard stuff because hard stuff is like you know the good brands. I'm not gonna spend extra on a special bottle of something hard, but I don't know if this is no okay. But I've been mixing it up with the brands, and I don't know. I'm uh. I'm in between what brand I w would want to uh, try next. Okay, so I had an idea. Uh, let's see if I can find the piece of furniture I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm -hmm. A window wouldn't look bad. Let's go with that. Oh, I didn't realize I have no gold. Oh, okay, never mind. Whatever I want to do, ideas out the window. Let's open up. I wanted to. Oh, I didn't finish that room upstairs. I want to rotate that around. Oh wait, no wait. The I already had the room done, right? Yeah, the room's good. Somebody said, uh, if you have a. Uh, Candle? I don't think I have candles right now. That's not good. Yeah, you can clean them all up. Hopefully that dude places a candle. Okay, all them... Everyone came in, so that's good. Oh, we're all out of beer. Ugh. I think a bunch of them were finishing this day. None of them finished. Oh, life is tough. Life is tough. We're going to have nothing. Oh, I should have done something else the first half of this episode. Oh, no. None of the beers are ready. Oh, we are going to be... I guess we got juice. Oh, boy. Oh, we can make french fries? Oh, who doesn't love french fries? Come on. Just, just, just give me all french fries all the time. I could eat straight french fries for every meal. So I don't do a lot of fast food anymore. Mostly, uh, my fiance is not a big fan. And it's, you know, I gotta, whatever she eats, I eat. And whatever she doesn't eat, I don't eat. So, 
just haven't done a lot of fast food recently. But the other day we went and got McDonald's fries. One, delish. Bigger issue here. They do not fill those fries like they used to. It's like, it, it's like they're running out of fries when they give you a large. It feels like you're like at the bottom of the barrel. You never are. You're never at the bottom of the fryer, but they just don't give you them. Like, it used to be, you know, you overfilled the thing. Now it felt, feels like they freaking have a measuring cup and like, mm, don't get don't get one too many fries in there. Like, quit being so cheap. You're already charging me, like, I think we got two large fries, and I want to say it was like $9. $4.50 for a large fry? $10? I used to be able to get a whole meal. Yeah, I, I sound like a freaking boomer. I used to get a whole meal from McDonald's for like six bucks. Burger, drink, and all. And that's large. It ain't it ain't easy these days. I just I feel like uh I'm quickly realizing that uh fast food it, other than it not being fast, every time I go, even when I just got two large fries, like, all right, pull over to a parking spot. I'm like, dude, it's two large fries. Just, you, you probably have these things in the fry later. Just freaking scoop them out, throw them in the bag, and call it a day. But they had me pull aside. I'm like, come on. We're in rush hour. You definitely have fries in that freaking fryer later. I don't know if that's the your oil. You should have fries in there. How are you not this pre prepared for a couple large fries? I'd I, like, I could only imagine if I was ordering a meal. It just feels like, I don't know. I feel like fast food literally isn't worth it anymore. Like, why would you go to McDonald's and get, you know, although I do, you know, okay. I do, I do love me a little burger from time to time from McDonald's. But like, if I had a five guys close, I would just do that instead for the extra like $2 to get five guys over McDonald's? Why What? Why wouldn't you do that? It just doesn't make sense to me that there, that anyone would, uh... Oh, do you not eat this? What do you eat? Grub? What does sheep eat? I don't know what sheep eat now. Do you eat grub? Do you eat leftovers? Do you eat hay? I feel like sheep eat hay, don't they? Am I dumb? Sheep definitely eat hay. Right? Can I can I get some information from you? What do you eat? I don't know what you eat. Hmm. I would assume hay, but I don't know. What I wanted to do was uh expand the uh the shop over here and uh, make it so this had a cooler like way up. I wanted to move this over here where it's facing this way. I was going to make this like a couple units bigger and just make a little section over here that was like nice. Hi, cat. Okay, we must be... I'm, I'm a little annoyed we don't have any beer. Are these like going to be done on... Oh, okay. That's good. I don't have any more cheese, right? I did just get a bunch of milk. I could probably make some. Oh, wait, I make cheese here. Oh, no, I don't have enough. Oh, I need lard? Curd. Curd. The curd of the sheep. Somebody left unhappy. I heard it. You better be filling those rooms, buddy. We have three rooms open. Get them filled. What are you doing?
I should go fishing. I got a little downtime. I don't. I need to wait on those beers. Um, I'll chop. No, nope, I should chop down like fully grown trees like this one. Look at that bad boy. I have this tree in my backyard. Massive tree. And it has a nest. A big nest in it. And I kind of just like looking at it. The big old, big old nest in it. I don't know what type of bird it is, but she big. Now, I, I've actually never seen the bird in it, but the nest has had eggs in it. So, I don't know. There's, there's somebody upkeeping with it. Upkeeping? I got my window. Yeah, I'm gonna expand this now to window right there. I think it'll look nice. I don't have any more lemon. Could make more fondue. Corn chowder, ooh ee. Sounds delectable. And a cream of mushroom. Mm. No, you're not going to make this about, I don't know, special recipes. You wouldn't do that, right? I don't know what the name of this episode is. You guys know I don't. I think it's probably about special recipes. Because I am running low on ideas for these videos if we're being honest in I gave him a give him a little slice of the lasagna hey what do we got going on come on finish 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 hmm are any of these stackable No. There's always the slight chance I accidentally made two of the same thing. I see two right here. Let's go. I'll throw wine in here. Let's go get these upstairs. I'll be right back. Out of the way. Triple juice. I'm a I'm a big juice guy. My uh my fiance gets mad, so we buy uh I used to be a big soda guy and I don't drink soda anymore. Once again, she doesn't drink soda, so I don't drink soda, we just don't have it in the house. But I do drink juice. And she gets mad because she'll buy like a thing of orange juice, like you know, a gallon of orange juice. I have that bad boy finished off in three days. Three days that gallon gone. And then I always get a little, I always, she's never mad at me for it, but I get a little bit of, I get a little bit of sass for it. Like, oh no, what happened to the orange juice? She says it to me as if, you know, she doesn't know the answer. I know the answer. We both know what happened to the orange juice. I had a little sweet tooth one night and drank way too much orange juice. Maybe two big glasses, not juice glasses. She thinks I should only drink juices out of the little juice glasses, which is, you know, like a mini glass. Ah! But I like to drink it out of the tall glass. Whoop. Every time I play this, I kind of forget how to fish. Let's see if I can maybe catch something else. Yeah, come on. Come on. Really? Is that they're not biting because they don't like this? I wonder if they don't like this bait. That is it, isn't it? They don't like this bait. Crap. Did I actually lose bait doing that? No, no, no. Okay. Well, I don't have to go somewhere else with this bait.
Well, I guess if I'm passing the home, might as well, uh... What are you unhappy about? That cat's never gonna like me. I got a few more beers, a few more beers. We make so much money every single day. So much money. Money is like the least of our concern at this point. It's awesome. I used to always be concerned about money. I hope one day this is me in real life. We make so much money, I don't even have to think about it. <laughs> it ain't ever going to be me, but you know, one, one could dream. I feel like I, uh, I, I feel like there's those people. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a little, uh, little thought here. I feel like there's certain people, and I respect it, who are in life, just their life in general, for the hustle. They're in it for the money. They would have this tavern going seven days a week, no breaks. I gave up on that. I thought I'd be in it for the hustle at some points. Never was. This was never my, uh, never my cup of tea. Never the, uh... Never what I, uh... Never what I've thrived for. Like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna want money one day. I'm gonna want to be some rich, rich man. I want people to know my name. I kind of just like my job right now. I'm working just an average job. I have a little YouTube on the side. I earn enough to pay my bills. Not enough to like go on lavish vacations or anything, but enough to be happy. I'm like, this is kind of, I'm kind of happy here. Like, like, I don't know. There's always been the, uh, yeah. I've just never, I'm, I'm just not a grind guy. I used to think I was, and maybe I am a little bit with YouTube, because I really, uh, you know, I like my daily uploads. I like having this routine. And this did something, I'd be happy, but if it didn't, I'd also be fine. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not in it for the hustle, man. I, I ain't on that Andrew Tate. <laughs> just, just not my, uh, not, not, not where I am in life. I'd be cool with small advancements in life, you know, maybe a little higher in the job or something, but I'm never owning a company or running anything. Maybe I'll have a lightly successful YouTube channel. That'd be nice. I don't know. Some people, uh, some people just got that dog in them. I just don't think I have it. I get a, I, I'm very, I get very, I, I feel like I'm in a place where I'm comfortable. And you know what? I don't think there is anything wrong with that. I'm the op, <laughs> for you people listening, I am the opposite of those motivational people like, go get it. <laughs> go get it. You could become a millionaire. Everyone will love you. Like, I'm the opposite of that. I'm like, hey, you know? Get enough to be happy and not, you know, struggling. Life's good. <laughs> Life ain't that bad. Somebody told me this counts as a torch. I want to check. It doesn't, by the way. Whoever told me that lied. That commenter lied. You lied. Maybe there's like an actual torch that counts. But these bra these brazers, I think that's what they're called, do not. Let me check if there's an actual torch. Torch? What did I just click? I need about, I don't know, freaking 50 of these. I should be able to buy these in groups of 10. 
Just send me the whole case. But I wanted to see, actually. There's something that will stay lit. Book. Lantern. Lion banner kind of slaps. Throw it in there. Rose banner kind of slap. Get it in there. Space pirates gotten. Okay, let's do that. I'll worry about decorating next episode. You know who I really respect if anyone's even still watching at this point? My friend Jamie, if you guys know him, uh, I think I have, I have a bunch of series with him at this point. You want to talk about someone who hustles. Jamie is the man. He is a dog. And I respect the hell out of him for that. He does his freelance right now, and he's been grinding that. And then he also does YouTube, obviously. I have a multiple series with him. And he is just, he's a dog. And I really like him. Just a good guy. Oh! I saw this in a screenshot, and I thought it was, you know, something that they built. Which is why I got this window. I was like, oh, maybe it's just a window and I'm dumb. Oh, I don't like the window. I don't like the window. Unless we go one more wide, then we could do windows on either side. Do the rug. Kind of like that idea. Let's go one more wide. I, I have the space in here for uh, one more wide. I could even throw a little table over there. You know, little seating bench. Nothing crazy, but a little one. Then I could uh, get myself a couple more tables. But yeah, he is a dog. He he grinds. I, however, do not have this. You don't have enough money. I'm down to 88 silver again? How'd that happen? Okay, well. Life's tough, I guess. But yeah, he hustles. I respect him. I respect the hell out of him. I feel like a lot of my, uh, I feel like I wanted to be there. I wanted to do the whole freelance thing, but I don't know. I just never, I never, uh, I think I talked about it a little bit when I was playing with him is I, uh, started this little company, but then I just never did the outreach and setting it up. Like I made, I made a really nice website. I even filed paperwork with the state to make this company. Never did, uh, never did the actual, you know, important part, which is, you know, your first customer. That is where it stopped. I did all the creative stuff. Never made it to the first customer, which no company. The, the hardest customer is the first one. And if you don't get there, well, hmm, you're mostly out of luck. And I never got there in mine. Maybe in the future. Who knows? I could always I could always do it. There's nothing stopping me from reopening my idea. But all right, guys. Uh, I'll probably finish this in the next episode. I think it could look really nice. Little little front desk area over here. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and viewership. If you're enjoying the series, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of this. Oh, it's, I'm just gonna make two of these before I 
Throw a wild turkey. That sounds good. One of wild turkeys better than domestic. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of the spicy content. I'll see you in that next one. Bye.